Nasruddin Imamov achieved the biggest victory of his career on Saturday when he defeated Jared Cannonier by fourth round TKO in the UFC on ESPN 57 headliner in Louisville. Unfortunately, the win was somewhat marred by controversy. Referee Jason Herzog jumps in a little bit too early with the TKO stoppage for many people's likings, myself included. I thought this could have gone a little bit longer. Cannonier has proven himself to be one of the toughest fighters in this division, had never been stopped at middleweight before this and I thought he definitely had a little bit more left to give in this fight especially given his age uh, given the durability he's shown in the past I know Herzog not supposed to take that into account in the moment but still I do think Kanyer had some more fight to see if he could turn things around the fight was definitely trending in Imalov's direction though I think he was winning the second and the third and it seemed like he had figured Kanyer out a little bit compared to that first round so maybe this just had the inevitable come a little bit early and it would have been a stoppage later in the fight, but given a main event, given the stakes, I would have liked to see it play out a little bit more, but we are not going to hold that too much against Imabov. He did his job. He's not the referee who stops the fight, so I don't think he should be ridiculed too badly for this one, and he definitely moves forward in this division towards a bigger fight. He called for a Sean Strickland rematch in Paris after this. I just don't think that's going to happen. I don't see why Sean Strickland would change his mind from his very definitive message of waiting for a title shot after this he already fought back once against Paul Acosta don't see it happening again against Imavov who he has already beat by the way so I think he's gonna have to look at something maybe a little more realistic I think given who is available who's booked what fights we have coming up and fights are probably gonna come up his best chance is probably Brendan Allen to get someone ranked above him and I think that would be a great fight between those two a compelling matchup two of the young younger contenders in this weight class both looking for their first shot maybe because of that you want to keep them apart but if these guys are wanting to fight the elite of the elite I just don't see how any other option makes sense maybe they wait for Hamzat Chemaev and Robert Whitaker to play out later this month and fights the loser but to me Brendan Allen feels like a hotter name right now so if I'm Ivamov I'm going for that fight next I know there is some maybe training crossover has been in the past but I think right now uh, those two guys would be a great matchup and the most logical next move for Imavov in the middleweight division.